Congratulations! You've been offered the opportunity to become an operator of one of Divig's biggest pieces of equipment, the Komatsu 830E haul truck. This powerful giant moves mountains of granite and kimberlite out of the pit every day, carrying as much as 227,000 kilograms in a single load. Also called the 240-ton haul truck, the 830E stands as tall as a two-story house and weighs about 160,000 kilograms when it's empty. But don't let its size fool you. The 830E is both powerful and efficient, and it's actually easy to operate once you know what you're doing. The 830E is rated as an off-highway truck, meaning it cannot be driven on public roadways. Let's take a quick tour of some of the more obvious components that make up the body of the 830E haul truck. Click Next to view them one at a time. Wheels. There are six wheels on the 830E haul truck, two in the front for steering and four in the back to provide power and traction. The rear wheels are electric driven, which means they are powered by electric motors. The tires are specially designed to carry the weight of a full dump truck load. Each wheel stands much taller than most men and women. Backup warning devices. When the truck is put into reverse, the reverse lights light up and the backup alarm automatically sounds in a continuous pattern until the truck is put into neutral or forward gear. These warning devices let anyone behind the truck know you are backing up toward them and likely cannot see them. As an added safety measure, you will also blast the horn three times before you back up. This is the pre-operational walk-around inspection for the 830E haul truck. We have 11 of these trucks in the Divic fleet at the mine. They're the biggest trucks on site, 240 ton they carry and the truck empty weighs 200 ton. You do the pre-op inspection because it's the Northwest Territorial Mines Act legislation that you must perform it. Secondly, you do it because you want to make sure this piece of equipment is safe to operate. So you check the machine over all the components to make sure it will be safe for your whole shift. And thirdly, you do it so that you walk around the machine, look for any damage. If you find any damage, you call your supervisor, let them know so we can get it repaired before the start of shift. So now I'm going to turn around and we're going to start inspecting the truck from the front. Operators do the walk around in a clockwise rotation. The first thing I check are my wheel chocks are down so I know the truck won't move. Then I'll check the cab and make sure that there's no one in it so it's safe to approach the truck. Then I go along the front and look at the box canopy. I make sure that there's no damage or cracks to the canopy. Then I'm going to look across to make sure that the truck is not loaded. If it is loaded, I have to dump it before a complete walk around is done. Then I'm checking underneath the truck for any oil or coolant leaks. Make sure there's no liquids on the ground so I know there's no leaks. Then I'll check the front of the rad for any damage. Make sure that there's no leaks in the rad itself and that the shutters are operational. And then I step back and I take a look at all my lights and the boarding ladders. Make sure that there's no damage to them and that cleanliness is good. I use three-point contact to climb up the boarding ladder. Now we go up into the cab, being careful entering the cab. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check that the park brake is on. Then I turn my headlights on, put my high beams on, and I'll put on my four-way flashers. Now it's going to be safe to continue with our walk around. So I'm going to climb back down onto the ground. 